but leo fa ta si mai le ta sala o samoa in new south wales le ta mai ta ila le le ya moe mo an shrinky ile ta to poloka la me ile ne ta ya e fa ta lo fa tu e la o sunga ile ta sala moe mo ana fa ta ile fa ta si mai le ta to poloka la me good morning Salo for lava, my low lava is so for a moa, my lilang yamma. Allowing all my moana, safato or shwenki, or to sell my lenu or awala, I sell mata vai savai, mata fussi vai mea, mata to the fanga, a lua sepululua, oto sanga. I feel honored to be a daughter of Samoa and the Pacific. It is my greatest pride. It is also an honor to be here with you, Janine, on Radio Samoa. My love of Tsaile Tautua. I know it is a busy time in the pageant scene with the beautiful Miss Samoa New Zealand contestants competing this weekend. But thank you for showing interest in, in me and my uh, title that I currently hold as Miss Samoa New South Wales. Well, fab time we mo anamo le fa avano ino lo time i awa love startle fi so ta inga ile ne ta yao. You look stunning this morning. And uh, before we get into it, congratulations fa ma lo love le ta wibi, ma lo le fi nao le avo pa le mai oi as Miss Samoa New South Wales. O le ase ta o ya te oi o le fa ai lunga le. How important is this role for you? It is such an honor and it is so important to me. Samoa is my power source and my why will always be to honor Samoa and our ancestors who came before me, um, who fought and prayed all of us into existence. Um, it will also always be my why to be of service to the people of Samoa today mm -hmm. and do all I can to leave a legacy that um, is a good foundation for our future generations because our future generations, our up and coming youth are the ones who will carry Samoa on to the next. Uh, I hope that this platform, through this platform, that I can continue to serve my community as much as I can, especially the Samoan and Pacific diaspora in New South Wales. We have a large Samoan population um, and also just empowering each other to preserve, promote and perpetuate our culture and cultural arts. Dance is a passion of mine, so I hope that Whatever the outcome of the Miss Samoa pageant, I will continue to do the work that I do and I know that the journey will be guided. It is also a new journey for me because um, it is also quite special because my mother, Mary Jane, held the Miss Samoa um, and Miss South Pacific title. So it brings a deep sense of responsibility and carrying on that legacy. Mm. But I always know that I don't come as one person. I come with ancestors, my family and community, and they will be my backbone throughout the journey. So beautifully spoken, Moi Moana. Uh, now, yeah, lesa eta uo lo tina fo i na pale mai lewa e I will get into this, but you also spoke about linga luenga lea o lo e faia po o lo tautua i totono le community a Samoa i lewa e nga lea o lo e alala ai in New South Wales. E ma faiona e fa matala mai o ani nga luenga, what are some of the work or projects you're working on right now? Yes, so um, I'm currently a dancer and tutor at Matsavai Pacific Cultural Arts. Mm. This year we have reached our 10th year. So wow. we began in 2013 and it's a milestone to reach 10 years. And in the last month, we've actually been moving to a new space, a new studio that is new and improved and much bigger to hold our Pacific communities. Mm. So uh, that's my daily um, afternoon and night activity, working at Matavai and helping my family. Um, but my job at the moment is at the Australian Museum with the Pacific Collection. So we have a collection of over 60,000 Pacific artifacts from all around the Pacific and 500 Messina from Samoa. Wow. So we're doing a lot of work digitizing our objects and what that is is photographing the objects as well as doing the research and consultation to try and get all the cultural knowledge. We have mm. Messina from over 200 years ago um, and a, some of the artifacts are rare. A lot of the elders I bring in, they don't know much mm. about the artifacts that we have. So trying to do as much engagement and consultation to to retrace that knowledge and hopefully revive those Messina one day. 
Wow, and it sounds like an intense role as well. So, you know, uh, lea olo e ta ua o oyolo a vea maseta si o faya o nga siwa o le matawai dance a uh, cultural group. Lea olo o ye, it's strong New South Wales. Ia malinga luenga lea olo e faya. Uh, now, sa ye se lo ita mo oe, maybe you thought, could I add this uh, to my plate, becoming Miss Samoa New South Wales? Uh, what was the challenge, uh, a challenge for you going into this uh, and becoming Miss Samoa New South Wales? Yeah, it was an interesting concept because for the last two years, the Miss Samoa New South Wales committee has carefully selected a young to might say Samoa. Mm. Um, and this year they uh, carefully looked um, around and they had been following my journey um, in Sydney and around the Pacific. Mm. And they approached me and my family this year and I was, I jumped quite eagerly to the opportunity just because I had been thinking of it for some time. Mm. The, big, the biggest challenge at the moment is just juggling work mm. and the preparations. Of course, you would know very well, Janine, with all the preparations that go into the Miss Samuel pageant. Um, working a full-time job, I have to give my heart and soul and mind to that as well as Matavai. So I have to always give my full self to different areas in my life. Mm. So it's just been um, trying to balance that with giving my full self to my preparations. Um, but it's an exciting journey and I'm learning a lot uh, along the way. It's been really exciting to be part of the creative process and think of the messages that I want to share mm. to Samoa and how I want to represent my family during it. There's, of course, a lot of pressure, but um, I've always viewed pressure as a good thing because mm. it's what's helped elevate me and um, taking risks is really important in life. Mm. Um, but I'm really appreciative to the Samoan community who have shown a lot of love and support to me thus far. Yeah, diamonds are formed from pressure as well. Um, uh, now, so you spoke about eagerly uh, taking this opportunity uh, with two hands. So, you know, as a young girl, has it always been something that you've been passionate about and wanting to get into, becoming the Miss Samoa New South Wales? The seed of entering the Miss Samoa was planted in me when I was quite young. Mm. I had many pictures of me wearing my mum's Miss South Pacific crown around the house and just always being in awe of the Samoan women who raised me, my mum, my grandmothers, my aunties, mm. they raised me and I would always look to them for inspiration. They always taught me that there was no one way to be a Samoan woman mm. and that we only need to look into our history to see that it's quite natural to be leaders and pioneers and warriors. Um, but I also grew up listening to people praise my mum about her reign as the Miss Samoan, Miss South Pacific. And the way, like you, Janine, she went on to manifest her dreams and follow her purpose, but always remain strong in serving Samoa. Mm. And that the service did not stop um, after her reign, but it was forevermore. But I also had um, strong male figures like my father, who is a kind-hearted, humble skilled man who always has Fasamo values at the forefront. Mm. I did have doubts um, because there is a lot of um, pathways opening up at the moment for me, mm. but I think um, the stars have aligned and um, I'm very happy and excited. Whatever the outcome of the Miss Samoa pageant, just being able to be back in Samoa and, and see what happens on the journey. Beautiful. And moi moana now Olesa eta uelotina Mary Jane, one of the most iconic Miss Samoa, Miss South Pacific to ever uh, hold this title. Now reaction New South Wales. It would be a surprise to a lot of people because over the years I had been asking her and her answer was no. <laughs> She has always been reluctant of me entering, but I think it's because she knows all too well about how the Miss Samoa title can be extremely humbling mm -hmm. in the sense that you do have a prominent title in the community, but you are also limited to the things that you can do. Mm -hmm. And I remember that she mentioned that in her reign, um, you know, young Samoan women, there's 
supposed to serve, they're supposed to listen and do what they're told and and not not be overly talkative. So she want she never wanted me to confine myself into a box, but um I see the platform as something that, you know, we can continue to grow and restructure and reshape. Um and I think her and my dad are happy um about me saying yes to the Miss Samoa New South Wales platform. They think I'm strong enough to be able to to carry it. Um, but yeah, I think she's just always been worried about you know the criticisms or the judgment. And of course, it must be hard for parents to see to mm. see that happen to their child. Yeah. But I I have put myself in a lot of pressuring instances. I competed in the World Fine Life Championships in 2019. And it's a lot of adrenaline dancing with fire and it's dangerous and you get burns and all, but I think the risk is something worthwhile. Mm. And I think that they know that I will always try and create my own, own path. Yeah. Beautiful, Moe Moana. Now you spoke about other norm opportunities here. I miss you love all long time. Va ilia fo i tapmeo sanga va va ma lo fire fire knife. Not only this, uh, you are also a climate change activist. Lea sa e malanga tu fo i i si a tunu o ye Europa e ma fai ona e tala no i lea va enga ma fai lo mai lo te tu a fo i i tutono le climate change space lea. Yes, um, I have always been passionate about the environment and learning about climate change has saddened me but also empowered me to do um, things to promote and spread awareness for climate change. Mm. Um, it was in 2021 I was approached by the Pacific Climate Warriors to attend the COP26, which is a United Nations Forum of Climate Change. That really opened my eyes to the dire issue of climate change and its imminent threat to the Pacific. We represented with the Marshall Islands delegation, um, a Micronesian island, mm. and we were in the same space as world leaders like Obama and Biden. And, you know, what was really inspiring was how the Pacific, when they unite, how strong we are and how strong of a voice we can have. Mm. And, you know, it was like being in an eye of the storm, like, everyone has their own decisions but they never really think about the impacts to the pacific islands mm. and um, we samoa lives and breathes climate change every day with the um, increasing cyclones and other weather patterns that are unusual mm. so the work in the climate space is uh, still evolving and continuing but i also try and um, thread it into my dancing mm. and so when i dance i share those messages Siva Samu is all about um, sharing about the environment and the ocean and the world around you. Mm -hmm. So I try and incorporate my climate change activism in my art. Thank you, Moe Moana, for the tireless work that you are doing, not only um, in the different industries that you uh, volunteer your time to. Now, what are you talking about Miss Samoa pageant? Um, it's going well. <laughs> I, I have enjoyed being creative. I have been fortunate to be like deeply part of the creative process. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I said yes to the pageant, I created a scrapbook of all my ideas and visions and the stories I want to portray and what I want to share about. Mm -hmm. And the committee has and my family have been very willing to listen to what I want to share. Um, I think before we even think about the result of the pageant, I just want to be able to express myself and say the things I want to say. Mm. Um, I want to share about the importance of climate change and how when we stay united as a big ocean continent and a big Pacific in the fight against these big polluting nations, how strong of a voice we can have. Um, in the preparations, I am also thinking about how excited I am to shine a light on my humble villages, especially my villages in Savai that don't often take the limelight. But on that night, I will make sure that I say their names loud and proud. And yeah, it's it's going well. I'm really excited to be back in Samoa at the end of the month. And I'm sure they will be supporting you and cheering you on, not only that night, but throughout the week and also your preparations from today. Now, last question for Mulumole Moe Moana, Miss Samoa New South Wales. A whaia fa amanuia i nga utau ma whainga i le tauvanga le Miss Samoa i le masina fo, o le ase manu lauti, bo le ase gol o le a e ngalue atu yei? 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I, if I was crowned Miss Samoa, I hope to serve as much as I can wherever needed, but also learn as much as I can as much as I can about Samoa. Mm-hmm. Samoan culture is like a big ocean, and there's so many deep layers and aspects to Fat Samoa. So I hope to, you know, sharpen my knowledge on Samoan culture. For practicalities, I would love to begin free dance classes. Um, if people were interested, Matawai is an example of how cultural arts heals and helps people mm-hmm. in strengthening their identity. So it would be awesome, if possible, to begin some kind of community-free dance classes. Um, one of the things I have done in the last year is taken up writing and directing. So last year, we co-wrote and co-directed a production, Motu of Western Sydney, yes. with a cast of 200 um, and the story shone light on young people and the struggles that they go through uh, post-COVID. Mm. Um, so if if possible, it would be amazing to do something like that in Samoa and use our young people and let them tell their stories or develop um, storylines that they can promote to the public, um, you know, using their gifts and their talents for, for the purpose that always serves Samoa and the Pacific. Um, and then lastly, I have been thinking about this. It's along the lines of my work at the museum, um, maybe doing digital storytelling um, and recording the knowledge of our elders and our artists, you know, our weavers, siapo makers, carvers. That's a lot of what um, we try and do at the museum, reviving old knowledge and mm. making sure that we record all of these treasures. So it would be cool to do something like that, a digital storytelling platform. But... You know, whatever happens, um, I I am in service to Samoa forevermore and I will make sure that, you know, these dreams manifest into reality. Fafte mwe moana. And before we wrap it up, is there anything else you'd like to add? A yesi isi vayenge te fia saunua yai? Fafte te le lava Janine and Radio Samoa for always sharing and elevating Samoan stories. Thank you for having me and your support is very much appreciated. And we wish you all the very best. Go with God and no doubt this, uh, yeah, we will be uh, cheering for all the Tausalas uh, who will be competing. Uh, but thank you very much for your time. Miss Samoa, New South Wales.